Traffic jams make crossing central Tehran a slow and often frustrating experience and similar traffic jams online may soon also test Iranians' patience. Last month, politicians unveiled a plan to take government agencies, universities, businesses and military departments offline. That will disconnect them from the global internet. In its place, they've built a closed or self-contained national computer network. At least 10,000 computers are already connected. The plan is to um, provide a faster, safer and cheaper way uh, for Iranian users to access Iranian websites. Websites for uh, national gas and oil company or the nuclear energy uh, company, uh, they have to be safer. Uh, obviously, uh, it will be safer for these sites if they were not accessible from the entire internet. Closed networks are simply a series of connected computers without any access to the global internet. They're frequently used for restricted or sensitive networks like payment systems, computers that run factories, or systems that control satellites. Without a connection to the internet, the chance of being hacked is greatly reduced. It also reduces infections by computer viruses. But greater security also means more control, because a state-run network makes the surveillance of users much easier. The national internet is cheaper than the global one, but also it is much more limited. I think people prefer the current global internet despite all the restrictions. Personally, I'd like to use the global internet. If they want to launch a domestic network, that's fine. But we should have both of them, and everybody should decide which one is more suitable for them. It's not clear if Iran's government plans to ever bring access to the global internet to a complete stop. It has the ability to do so, but the idea is unlikely to find favour on the streets, or perhaps even at the top. The country's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has his own website in 13 languages. He's also signed up to Twitter and the photo-sharing site Instagram. Any interruption to Iran's global internet access would surely affect his followers too. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.